I'm meteorologist Joseph Meyer. One year ago, I was at the Woodlands Crossing neighborhood near 180th and Military covering the tornado. One thing I noticed when I was here was not just the amount of damage, but the variability of damage from home to home. For example, this home had to make relatively minor repairs compared to the home surrounding it, while its next door neighbor's house had to be completely torn down and rebuilt. So why is there so much variability? Well, one year later, I am back to answer that question. The variability in home damage comes from three reasons, tornadic winds, home construction, and just other random factors. First, tornadoes fluctuate in strength throughout the funnel. For example, one home could get hit with a 150 mile per hour wind, while the neighbor gets a 100 mile per hour wind. The second important factor is home construction. The what, when, and how a home was built can lead to significant differences in its vulnerability to tornadoes. As this contractor explained to me, the process of making homes better protected against tornadoes is constantly evolving. From the 70s all the way through to today, building codes have also evolved too, and through the building codes we now required to put uh, you know, better sheathing, better structural elements to it, two by six walls now. One of the other things that are required too with the roof assemblies is that we've got to put a hurricane clip into the, uh, the stud of the top plate in order for it to tie it down. Homes also have several failure modes, like attached garage doors or large bay windows. On a tour of this Elkhorn home, the many failure modes became apparent. Yeah, you had the cross line winds coming our direction is what caused that. It must have been some uh, obstacle or another that literally just sh basically like a large shotgun right into the house. And so winds continued through and, and strengthened as that window smashed in and just blew the drywall off. And finally, luck plays a factor. This could include the debris that hits the house, the way the house is facing, the local geography, and more. Now the most important thing is no matter how a home is constructed, if a tornado warning is issued for your area, take your tornado precautions. Near 180th and Military, I'm meteorologist Joseph Meyer.